impact zone is, is just everything is so disorderly. Yeah, but I'll tell you what, you thought that was wild, Broadway Danny Wolf. We have been waiting for this tag team match for a long time. The neighborhood. Oh, here come the neighborhoods from the corner of Fifth and Rampart from South Central LA. Well, we know Tech Nine, who just jumped into the ring first, wearing the blue jeans, is still on the men with some cracked ribs. So taking his place tonight will be White Hayton Coon. Oh, White Hayton Coon throwing his shirt at our sound man. Craze one in the ring now. I tell you what, this is our first chance to see the White Hayton Coon in the ring. And uh, we're going to see what this man is made of. I know he's been working. I know he's training hard. He's been hanging in the hood. And this guy is ready. But you know what? We've got trailer trash coming out. And you never know what trailer trash is going to bring to the ring with them. So this match pits street trash against trailer trash. Tech 9 right now blocking the crowd. We're looking forward to the return of Tech 9 in the future. One half of the neighborhoods. But this match will be the ring debut of White Hayton Coon. And let's listen, Tech Nine with the mic. I'm looking forward to seeing White Hayton Coon, see what kind of stuff he's got in the ring. I know he's been training in South Central Los Angeles, picking fights with passerbys, people at bus stops. What the heck? White Hayton Coon. Like I was saying, trained in South Central Los Angeles on the streets. They all live at the corner of Fifth and Rampart. Very dangerous area of Los Angeles. What? Hold on, Mr. Hold on, Who do you run over? You can spend three days and four fabulous nights with your mother. Hey. Oh, I apologize for these. I go to video because it won't give you claps. I apologize for the IWF. And its sponsors, I apologize for the remarks made by the neighborhoods. Oh, this I gotta hear. What do you say? Toss my salad? I don't know what that means, Danny Wolf. This is X-rated, this is lewd, this is crude. And we haven't even gotten to trailer trash yet. Huh. Oh, please. That is repulsive. I don't know if they're gonna toss a salad. Trailer trash is probably hungry. Uh, oh, yeah, yeah. And here we go, awaiting the. Here they come, trailer trash, delinquent Dan Hansen, white trash Johnny Webb. Oh, Uncle Jess is come. Wait, what is this? Trailer trash coming out. Cigarettes in the mouth. Big fan favorites here at the Impact Zone. Coming out to their theme song. Jeff Foxworthy, I guess, is their idol. The Battle of Ledbetter, Texas versus the streets of South Central Los Angeles. The Neighborhoods, Craze One and White Hayton Coon Accompanied also by, of course, Tech 9, who really makes up the other half of the neighborhoods.
And they're getting ready to tangle up against delinquent Dan Hansen. White trash Johnny Webb. Somehow they're brothers. I don't even want to go through this. They're somehow brothers, uncles, son, bro whatever they are. They're all related somehow. And even Uncle Jess is here. You know when Uncle, Uncle Jess is in the building, you can smell this guy two miles away, Larry. Well, I'm assuming that Uncle Jess will be wrestling in this match because it looks like uh, white trash Johnny Webb is in no condition due to that uh, lawsuit he's got pending against the police force. But well, that's true right now. Johnny Webb got his arm in a sling here, so it might be Uncle Jess as the other tag team partner with delinquent Dan here. And right now, unbelievable action so far here. And we haven't seen nothing yet. As, oh, surprise ambush attack by White Hayton Coon. And Craze One on Uncle Jess and Delinquent Dan. And right now, look at White Hayton Coon. He learned this on the streets in South Central LA, beating up passers by. Oh, uh, what are you doing here, Richard Wad? I just thought I'd come out and make sure you two idiots are doing your job right. Oh boy, what are you scouting more? You've taken over half the IWF. What'd you give Phenomenal Phil earlier? How much money was that? What'd you buy him? Every man has a price. I know Phil's. I paid it. Now he works for me. They all work for me. By the end of the night, you're going to not only see as many surprises as you already have, but I got one more surprise, and it's going to happen sometime in the next 25 minutes. We'll hold our breath. What is delinquent Dan doing with a, a lit cigarette in his mouth? First, there's no smoking in professional wrestling. There's not even any smoking allowed in the building. And right now, this guy's got a cigarette. You know, what is this? This is a professional wrestling match, not some lounge or some bar somewhere. And right now, White Hayton Coon, again, I mentioned earlier, he was trained. Somebody said he was beating up passerbys, people waiting for the bus in South Central LA. And that's how he prepared for his ring debut here, Larry. Well, somebody was probably sitting on his bench. That's his bench. Nobody had permission to sit on that bus bench. So why Hayton Coon took care of business. All I know is, look at this collection in the ring. There's going to be a war. There's going to be, somebody's going to get hurt. There's six guys out there. And uh, both of these teams, both of these families, I guess, can't stand each other. We're going to get to the bottom of business right here in the IWF right now. Oh, tremendous strike by Uncle Chess. I'll tell you, the collective smell not excluding present company, of course. It's just putrid here at the impact zone. And right now, crazy. And yeah, nobody wants to hear you. I want to talk to my man, Richard Wad here. You just sit back there for a second, Broadway Danny Wolf. Richard Wad, what's going on in the stud stable right now? Well, let me tell you, like I said, you've already seen some changes in the stud stable. You've already seen some changes in the Wad stable. There's changes happening all over the IWF. And that's right, Richard Wad is at the base of them all. Now, I'm looking at these guys in the ring. We got, we got trailer trash. Trailer trash. The, the two are perfect. They're from a trailer and they're trash. They're, <laughs> what is this garbage? Then, then you've got a bunch of gang members. They're probably neighbors. Now, there are no real good tag teams in the IWF except one. And that one works for the Wad Stable. And that tag team is the Ballard Brothers. They're going to go all the way. They're going to get the belts. There's only one, maybe one tag team standing in the way, and that's the Haystack Brothers. And you know what? Lyle Haystack is too busy going, oh, look at me. I'm a champion. I'm a champion. Well, let me tell you one thing. That's going to change real fast. And because he's the, oh, I'm a champion, I'm a champion, his little brother is stuck by the wayside. That means the path is clear for a tag team champion, and that's the Ballard Brothers, plain and simple. Well, you didn't mention, uh, of course, uh, the neighborhoods are also a tremendous tag team, and I think they'll take exception to that if they listen to your remarks you just made, as they're a tremendous tag team here in the IWF. And right now, Uncle Jess, somehow he's related. I can't see him being real, a real uncle to, link, to delinquent Dan and Johnny Webb. I can't even get the relations right. In this. You don't even know your relations, Broadway Danny Wolf. Let me ask uh, the intelligent Mr. Y one more question. What is your honest opinion of the team that's being formed with your ex-protege, Mr. Outrageous, and a couple of his buddies that he uh, dragged off the street. Well, let me tell you something about Mr. Outrageous. Mr. Outrageous is too busy with his little Hollywood friends going, oh, look at me, I'm in The Wedding Singer. Oh, look at me. Oh, I'm going with Billy Idol, my friend. He doesn't have the concentration. Now he's with some like a liquid polemic or something like that. I don't know what this idiot is. But let me tell you something. He's lost focus. 
He didn't quit. I fired him. Let's get that straight. I got my licks on him. We're not done with him yet. And now he tags up with Gary Crusher Key. Big deal. Who cares? Oh, and Jack Stud. Ooh, I'm scared. You think they could rat match my boys? I don't think so. They will never match my boys. They're nothing. I tell you what, I will be very interested to see the outcome of a match between uh, Mr. Outrageous and Gary Crusher Key and the Ballard Boys. That would be a great match. Even you got to admit, Broadway Danny Wolf. I'll tell you one thing, the Ballard brothers would be in for a very rude awakening if they took on Gary Crusher Key and Mr. Outrageous. And I know those two don't always get along. They've been partners. They've been enemies. But it looked like tonight they really aligned themselves with beautiful Jack Studd. And well, here comes Johnny Webb. White trash. Johnny, what are you doing? The neighborhoods are going down, man. Millie Vanilli is finished. They are out of this one. And passenger 57 over there is going to be sitting in coach after tonight. Just watch. Look at the tobacco just dripping out of this. Oh, disgusting. Even Richard Wad getting dripped upon by Johnny. He touched me. Now, now i got to get sterilized. All right, now in the ring, Uncle Jess going to work on Craze 1, one half of the neighborhoods. All right, now I'm waiting to see uh, White Hate and Coon get in the ring. We saw a little bit of him earlier, and he uh, actually got beat up a little bit there, Larry. And right now, Uncle Jess Hansen in complete control of this match. As he goes to tag his, uh, is that his brother? Delinquent Dan Hansen, who's going up to the top rope. Coming in, drops the elbow right on the shoulder. Grabbing the, the cornrows, the hair, slapping the, oh. Look at the adding insult to injury is delinquent Dan Hansen, one half of trailer trash. And Craze one right now, getting the boot to the side of the face. As referee Patrick Hernandez, again, once again, will have his hands full here, Richard Wood. And, you know, he has his hands full most of the time because of you. Oh, well, I guess that's just a tough uh, behooties. Oh, come on. <laughs> yeah, you know, I came out here to watch this match, and you know what? I, I, I was thinking I was going to see some wrestling. What is this stuff? They're sitting there. Ooh, look at me. Oh, look, a move. There's one. Let me tell you something. There's no tag teams in here. The only tag team that's even worth a damn are my boys, the Ballard Brothers. Simple as that. Well, you just heard the remarks of Richard Watt. He is the manager of the Balor Brothers, amongst other wrestlers here in the IWF. And right now, delinquent Dan Hansen. Oh, low blow, crotch shot by Craze One. <laughs> Look at Craze One. Barely getting his feet himself. Retri Patrick Hernandez saying, what, did I miss something here? As Craze One grabbing the boot of delinquent Dan. And right now, drops the elbow right on the side of the knee of delinquent Dan Hansen. And what is Tech 9 doing? You know, this guy shouldn't even be ringside. He's not part of this match. But always seems to add his two cents. Hey, White Hayden Coon coming into the ring. Oh, drops the leg right across the chest of Delinquent Dan. And here goes White Hayden Coon. Scoops him up. Oh, drops him like a sack of potatoes. Look at the look on this guy. Look at. Unbelievable, White Hayton Coon. He's unstable. He's unstable. There's no focus. No focus, no wins. The guy looks like a crazed man. <laughs> Suplex and down goes Delinquent Dan, but so far he's doing quite quite well for himself. Pounding the back is White Hayton Coon, trained in the streets of South Central Los Angeles by the neighborhoods. And right now he's pounding away on the back of Delinquent Dan, an elbow to the shoulder blade. And right now, Lethal Larry, what do you think of White Hayton Coon's performance so far? Well, you know what? I'm impressed so far. It looks like, uh, uh, it looks like, uh, don't like Dan Hansen getting the advantage. I think he was pulling uh, White Hayton Coon's hair. What White hair? Hayton He's got no hair. What are you talking about? Well, not anymore. He just pulled it all off. But right now, it looks like White Hayton Coon has got to make the tag because he's got to get the uh, fresh guy, Craze One, back in the ring. I tell you, the uh, uproar that is the IWF tag team division right now, it's going crazy. You can't trust anybody. The only guys you can pretty much count on are brothers, like the Ballard brothers, you know, like the Hansons, whatever relatives they are. You know, I don't even know what kind of relatives they are. I've done a little bit of scouting on these idiots, and I've even done some more work with my PI guys. I, I've tried to find out, is Uncle Jess his father, his brother, his son? I don't know. The, the family tree has one branch. Explain that. Well, someone once told me they were twin brothers from different mothers, and I really don't even know what that means. But right now, getting back to the action, delinquent Dan has the upper hand on White Hayton Coon. And what kind of name is White Hayton Coon anyways? You know, that doesn't even suck. I believe that's Islamic. It's like, you know, uh, it's like uh, Akeem Olajuwon. 
you know. I don't, uh, I don't think that's Islamic at all. I think it's a little worse than that. And uh, it's not politically correct, if you know what I mean. And Richard Watt. I think he just has some issues. That's the only problem. Again, a lack of focus. Well, right now, Uncle Jess, Snapmare takes down White Hate and Coon. And right now, referee Patrick Hernandez better get in there. Could be a chokehold. As right now, he's asking him. Not a chokehold. We'll see how much. Oh, rake to the eyes. And White Hate and Coon knew exactly what to do right there. And he tags in Craze 1. Well, you're going to have to excuse me now. You boys, you're boring me. I'm going to have to go tend to some business now. Thank you very much. Let's get Richard Watt out of here, yeah. You know, I have a feeling we'll probably see this guy interfere sometime later. This guy can't keep his nose out of anything. You know, now that he's gone, don't tell him I said this or anything. But well, I was going to tell him. You called him Dick Watt earlier, you know. I, I really don't like the guy. I'm glad he's gone, but, you know, he can just take his... Uh, there's a Ballard, Mallard, uh, K. Ballard, or whatever. Those I should have reminded, uh, reminded Richard Waugh that you called him Dick earlier. I forgot, you know. Back in the locker room later, I may want to remind him about your comments, Lethal Larry. Right now, we got two, just a two count. Craze one, almost with the pinfall over Uncle Jess Hansen. And right now, well, we got two able wrestlers, and actually, uh, each team has a chokehold right here by Craze one. Choking out Uncle Jess as the referee is being distracted by delinquent Dan. We got Tech Nine who's on the mend outside the ring. We got Johnny Webb, white trash Johnny Webb, still got his arm in the sling. He's still blaming the cops for that injury, right, Lethal Larry? Well, last I know, I mean, the, the litigation is still uh, is still pending. We got to find out what's going on. I don't know, it may be a quite a while before we see Johnny Webb back in the ring. And uh, right now, Johnny Webb's not needed because Uncle Jess has picked up the slack for the Hanson family or for the Webb family or whomever they want to be called, the Trailer Trash family. Well, that's what they are, the Trailer Trash from Ledbetter, Texas. 14 people in one trailer. Can you buy? I'd love to see a, a photo or some video of what their house is like. Oh, Uncle Jess dropped down, craze one. Drops the leg right over the neck of Uncle Jess. You know, Uncle Jess spitting up right now in the middle of the ring. So oh my God, Uncle Jess, look at that gut exposed under his t-shirt. And right now, Craze One tagging into White Hate and Coon. What is White, oh, mock, oh, you see White Hate and Coon? Mocking Uncle Jess and now delivering the boots. Right now, pounding on the head, look at, look at the quick. The quickness of White Hate and Coon. Now he's choking Uncle Jess. Referee is being distracted. Come on, referee. Turn around. Tech Nine. You know, Tech Nine and Craze One know exactly what to do. Well, you know, it's it's, it's just that uh, White Hate and Coon's using those those hockey tactics of the same ones that uh, Shemp and Shirley. What are they, Shemp and Shirley Ballard? The same thing those guys use, those hockey tactics. They work in the ring, and they work to perfection. And right now, we've got a hell of a match here, Broadway Danny Wolf. But White Hayton Coon right now, going for a sharpshooter. Right now, Uncle Jess, Boston Crab, excuse me. Wait, wait, look at this. Craze one, trying to get more leverage on the Crab here. And right now, referee making him release the hold as White Hate and Coon tags back into Craze 1. Oh, Tech 9. What was that? Johnny Webb and Craze 1 going at it now here outside the ring. Boy, heard some kind of glass or something break there. I don't know what Johnny Webb had. Whatever he smashed against the uh, apron. Boy, right now, tin pans flying around. Timekeeper Piper almost getting hit in the head. Oh, short clothesline there by Uncle Jess. He's got about one inch to tag, and he does. Uncle, or actually delinquent Dan Hansen coming to the ring. Drops the forearm on the back of the head. And right now, choking out, craze one. Very little uh, scientific wrestling in a match like this, but we knew that. Maybe that Boston Crab was the most scientific uh, hold we've seen in the match so far, Larry. I don't know, is that that thing that the uh, the uh, liquid Sal Balomo brought out? Was that the Boston Crab? Is that the thing he was swinging around earlier? The Golden Crab. That's what uh, Zoog's riff carried earlier. But he's not here for this match. And right now, delinquent Dan Hansen, one half of the great tag team in the IWF trailer trash. Oh, look at this pin. 
incredibly nonchalant by Delinquent Dan. You're not going to cover someone that way. And right now, Delinquent Dan Hansen drops the elbow. And Cray's one right now in a heap of trouble. As Delinquent Dan covered in tattoos, wearing his ripped blue jeans. Wait, wait, what is he doing to the referee? Cray's one. Grabbing Patrick Hernandez. What is he doing? Delinquent Dan sort of... Oh, cheap shot. Craze one poke in the eye of Delinquent Dan. And right now, Craze one back in control. Drops the elbow to the back of the head. Referee get in there. This could be a choke hold, Larry. If it was a choke hold, then that uh, so-called referee would be stopping it. Obviously, it's not. It's a legal chin lock, a uh, reverse chin lock, and he's, uh, he's right now trying to cut off the air supply of delinquent Dan Hansen without, of course, using a illegal choke, which the neighborhoods would never do. And standing drop kick there by Craze One, right to the back of the neck of delinquent Dan. And right now, delinquent Dan Hansen in trouble here, brought over to the corner of the neighborhoods. And the neighborhoods tonight, at least participating, are Craze One and White Hayton Coon. And right now, a chair is brushed, brought over in the corner by Tech Nine. Delinquent Dan. Oh! What was that? Delinquent Dan sort of slingshot into the ropes and he took out White Hayton Coon. And right now, Delinquent Dan is thrown over through the middle rope. Oh! Tech 9 hitting Delinquent Dan. Hitting Delinquent Dan over the head with the chair. And right now, Uncle Jess trying to plead his case to referee Patrick Hernandez, who seems to have missed everything, as delinquent Dan Hansen laying outside the ring and the crowd on their feet here at the impact zone as White Hayton Coon throwing delinquent Dan back into the ring. And right now, it looks like Craze One going outside the ring, grab, trying to grab something. He's grabbing El Hermano De Piper's shirt, our timekeeper. You see him in the black cowboy hat. And right now, Craze One coming into the ring with a, some kind of water bottle. What the heck is he, what is he doing? Oh, he's drinking it. Okay, we see that. Drinking it. So what? What the heck is going on here? Craze One, I don't know. This match is sort of, sort of taking a, a, a strange turn here as Delinquent Dan holding that pan that Johnny Webb brought down to ringside tonight. And White Hayton Coon now coming over behind him. Oh! And a chair shot by Tech Nine. You know, it doesn't look like Uncle Jess is. Oh! Tech Nine pounds. Delinquent Dan with the chair. Johnny Webb now coming over. That's it. El Armando de Piper ringing the bell sort of clumsily right here. And that might be the match. What is going on here, Larry? It looks like uh, Born to be Alive, Patrick Hernandez has, uh, has uh, put a halt to this ball. I don't know what's going on. Maybe the timekeeper's going to get it next. Well, I know a lot of the fans would like to see that. I know right. a couple of announcers that would like to see that, too. Well, I won't speak for myself, but I know you'd like to see it happen. And right now, the referee must have asked the, the timekeeper to ring the bell because we heard it ring several times. What is El Hermano de Piper, our timekeeper? What is, leave the Larry, go over there, hey! What is our timekeeper doing? He got a kendo stick, the trailer trash brought to the ring and hit White and Gaten Coon with it. What the heck is going on here? Oh, crotch shot by delinquent Dan in the ring. The bell has been rung already about 45 times in the last 20 seconds. Delinquent Dan bleeding profusely from the forehead. Compliments of the steel chair that was crashed over his head by Tech Nine. And Patrick Hernandez saying, come on, let's go. What's with the bell here? Lethal Larry, maybe you want to go over there and get the bell away from the timekeeper. I don't know what, he, what he's doing. The match has been restarted by referee Patrick Hernandez. And right now... Delinquent Dan Hansen, bleeding. Richard Watt coming out of the locker room. What's he saying? Let's, now here come the Ballard brothers. Here comes phenomenal Phil Landers. 
Uh-oh. I had a feeling of this. Richard Wood bringing his new man, Phenomenal Phil, into the ring. Bring in the Ballard brothers. I knew this was going to turn into this. We got wrestlers everywhere, folks. We got Tech 9 coming into the ring. We got Johnny Webb with this tin pan. Referee Patrick Hernandez should just uh, get out of the ring as fast as he can for his own safety. Tech 9 dropping the leg right over one of the Ballard brothers. That might be Shane or Sean. Delinquent Dan throwing blows and punches, exchanging with one of the Ballard brothers. Phenomenal Phil, Uncle Jess. We got trash being thrown from the crowd over into the ring. The Ballard brothers going to work right here on Craze 1. White Hayton Coon also in the ring. Delinquent Dan with the chair. With the bomber Bobby Bradley coming out of the locker room. What's he? You know, his guy interferes whenever he can get his hands into it. The Ballard brother dumping White Hayton Coon. What the heck is going on here? Wait, here comes Johnny. Johnny Hemp going after Phenomenal Phil. That's a little revenge. Compliments to what happened earlier. And now Richard Wad getting attacked by Johnny Hemp as well. Oh, jeez. This is incredible. Clothesline over the rope. The Ballard brother getting pounded off by White Hayton Coon. Phenomenal Phil, head first into the steel post. Johnny Epp, we got Jess Hansen, Tech 9, just dumping one of the Ballard brothers. Oh, delinquent Dan with that frying pan, hitting the side of the face of Phenomenal Phil. Oh, this is Broadway Danny Wolf here at the impact zone. What is going on here? Johnny Epp just threw Phenomenal Phil into the locker room area. Johnny Webb, oh, super kick to the jaw, Craze 1, he's out of the ring. Tech 9 is the only one still in there, he exits. The ring covered in trash, chairs, food, and all in all, brawl here at the Impact Zone. The crowd on their feet, they can't believe what they're seeing here. Uncle Jess Hansen lying in the ring. Craze One's got referee Patrick Hernandez. Oh, Bulldog! Down goes referee Patrick Hernandez. John, Richard Wad going back to the locker room. We got delinquent Dan out there. Referee Patrick Hernandez is hurt. We got Tech Nine with the chair. Craze One in the ring with Uncle Jess. And out of the ring goes Craze One. Oh, Uncle Jess just gets pounded. Oh. What is going on here, ladies and gentlemen? Food being thrown. Hey, we got boy. Crazy Joe Coyote coming back over. What is going on here? We got food, bottles, chairs, blood. What a pounding. Uncle Jess Hansen's taking in the ring right now. Oh, Tech no. 9 up to the top rope. I thought this guy's supposed to be injured. What's he doing? Jumps a dry elbow right on the neck of Jess Hansen. One third of trailer trash. And there it goes. Craze one, tech nine. Back to the locker room. There he is. The white hating coon is going back to the locker room. You know, this is exactly what I predicted would happen. If you look at my message on the message board at the IWF website, IWF01, members, AOLcom. I knew this was going to erupt in chaos, and I got to tell you, I love every minute of it. In the immortal words of Peter Sellers, I like it, but I don't understand it. Well, you may like it and not understand it, but right now the Ballard brothers exiting the ring. Jeez Louise. There go the Ballard. These guys are nuts. There goes one of the Ballard brothers, the last one. Unbelievable action, wrestling fans. Incredible. This is Broadway Danny Wolf. And the, and the Coyote Man Crazy Joe telling you this. Take it from me, stick it in yours, but don't give it back to me when you're done. 